our Silverlight and XNA platform on the phone. And we're going to start with Silverlight. Um, now, I want you to take yourself out of your mindset as a developer just for a little while and put yourself in the mindset of an end user who has your Windows Phone set. And uh, I'll take myself as an example. I'm a bit of a news hound. So the first application I'm going to show you is the AP mobile experience that was developed by Archetype. This is a Silverlight app, but as an end user, I don't really care how it was developed. What I care about is whether it's engaging, whether it looks very attractive, whether it's easy for me to learn and use, and this application, the, the AP mobile newsreader, in my opinion, fulfills all those desires. When I come into the experience, you see top news is immediately shown. If I pan over to the left, I get a list of categories of lots of different news that I might look at. So this metaphor of panoramic experience is already really comfortable to me, and I can use this in a way that is very natural. If I keep panning to the right, the newsreader gives me a quick and easy way to see the stories that are being shared, and I can, I can comment on the stories, I can rate them, um, and add my own voice into the conversation. I'll pan again to the right, and you can see how this application serves up lots of different media types. I might want to look at photos of the latest breaking news stories or watch a video. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is actually uh, come back here because I want to actually read one of the news stories. And you can see the top news items are displayed there. And, oh, hang on, so, uh, hang on a second there. We had a car drive in. Of course, one of the things that I'm sure you all are wondering about is how do these applications get monetized, and of course there's lots of different ways, and the Silverlight platform is a terrific one for letting you enable nice, elegant, interactive experiences that might be driven by advertisements, as you saw in that for example there. But what I'm going to do is jump in here and read this news story. So I touched the top news story about Obama working on the health plan. Um, I could, you know, pan down to read this, or I can pan over to the right, where I can be a part of the conversation, add a comment read the comments that other people are making on the story, and so on. Um, but what I'm going to do instead, you're getting a sense of how this looks, maybe I decide I want to look at some more of the photos. So I can touch the photo, and there's a, a nice 3D-oriented photo viewer that's built in. I'm not going to go through all of that right now, but you get the idea how the application is engaging and uses motion and animation to make me feel very happy and satisfied as I'm using the device. Uh, I'm going to pan back over here and choose sports because I'm interested in what's happening with sports. Maybe there's a, some NCAA stuff. Um, the first thing that shows, of course, is sports headlines. And look at this. Uh, breaking news is available. In fact, uh, perfect timing because the tournament's getting started. So if I wanted to, I could touch that and navigate to the section of the app on the latest NCAA tournament updates. So this gives